Hello, YouTubies. Welcome back to the bottom of the well. So this second uh, playthrough, uh, I'm trying what I call social light, Alice. Where, as you can see, I have maxed out my social life. I have maxed out my supplies so I can share my goodies with all my friends that I'm making. Because I'm trying to go more of like a, a, um, a charismatic and a interactive sort of Alice. I don't know if that's really something that happens in this game, but I remember that interaction I had with the guy whose car is trying to steal. Maybe I could convince him one way to, uh, oh, let me borrow your car, dude. Oh, yeah, come with me, bro. That's great. Something like that. Um, I have one point of fitness because I don't want to die when I try to run places, and I have two more survival because I do want to try to get the, the good ending because I'm assuming that's part of it, but I have zero career, zero dating. Let's do this. <laughs> so here we go. Social light, Alice. But I can still get a good... Today I had the weirdest dream of my life. I'm waiting for Joe to come online so I can talk to someone about this. God, I feel like I'm going crazy. I think this guy's good. Morning. Did you catch the anniversary reading last night? Well, no, I tried, but okay. So I think I read all this, so we're gonna go right into the game. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Drink some more of my water! Because I've been doing a lot of talking. Ah, alrighty, game. Let's load. I feel like this is probably a Slow loading time due to my computer, not necessarily the game itself. Oh, oh, did I break it? No, here we go. Okay, cool. So, like I said, it was the end of the world. Everything I did that day felt like it was real. Every smell, every sound, every color, everything's important. You know that I wasn't acting like I would in a dream. Well, I was gonna see if the text was different because I tried something different, but that's okay. We'll see if it's different. No, but nothing just between one moment and the next. TV turned emergency broadcast. Were you alone? No, I was with. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just miss? Whoa. Uh, 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 I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm redoing this because I, they're talking about Star Wars, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, YouTubers, welcome back. So, no, I was with some friends, we were having a movie night at my place watching, holy shit, I think it was actually the new Star Wars movie, there was a scene where old Han Solo was just about to get knocked over when the TV just switched. <gasps> oh! Okay, well, okay, this is like the 2016 release of this game, so maybe we put that in there on purpose, I don't know, look, look what I'm wearing. It's my new Star Wars short. Short, short, short. Because just yesterday, I saw the movie again for the third time. So I'm doing these playthroughs of this game today, wearing this shirt because I'm in the mood. I have a Star Wars picture that I just hung. You guys know that's my goal. If you don't know, that's my goal in life, as it in life, rather. I was going to say as an actor, but no, it's just my goal in life. I, I'm going to be in a Star Wars film as an important character. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So. Because, gosh darn it, I'm too stubborn. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. The new Star Wars as an episode 7 on DVD? You know that dates your dream, right? Hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> Sorry, go on. What happened next? Like I said, the TV suddenly was this. Turned to the emergency alert system. Jacked the volume all the way up to... Didn't even know they could do that. The broadcast told us they're under attack right now and that we need to get to shelter. We had less than minutes before the bomb sniff. What's this? What's this? What's this? What the, why is it why did the thing just pop up? It's not, oh wait, is this Okay, whatever. First I didn't want to believe it, I just switched the channel, but they were all the same, and then I saw the sirens, start turning the sirens, flood sirens. So what do you do? I'm trying to skip through the things that I read before. Uh, okay, so I'm social light. I would probably I'm not too smart, but I am a survivor. But I do um I do have a good social life. I would probably call my friend again. Hmm. To see what's going on. Chess, my boyfriend. Actually, I'm going to putting myself out there. Okay, keep it. Okay. So I read all this. So let's skip. What's going on? Fine online. Did you try calling someone like your parents? Of course I tried, but it was futile. The phone network was completely overworked, but the net still worked fine. I'm trying to. What should my voice be for social light, Alice? Maybe it should be very proper, like like a queen. I don't even know if that's a queen, but we'll go with that. Everyone was pretty terrified. Some tried to make a joke out of it, but there was something about that voice on the TV that belied that. Once we figured out the net still worked, everyone was on it. So what do you find out? What do you find? The networks were still working, but the bandwidth was severely lacking. The major news networks were either down or overloaded. But all the big search engines defaulted to some kind of government site in super simple HTML. That kind of confirmed it really was the real deal. Isn't the net supposed to be some kind of DARPA invention anyway? 
Wouldn't be surprised if they had some kind of system in place to take it over if need be. Well, they hadn't taken it over. Oh my god, I'm so dehydrated. I'm like, mmm. I feel like my throat starting to get sore because I'm doing so much talking. You could still go whenever you wanted. Facebook still worked. Oh, thank god. Thank god Facebook still worked during the apocalypse. What would we do without Facebook during the apocalypse? Apocalypse proof servers? Nice. Nice. Actually, I feel like Facebook would have apocalypse proof servers. If any website or any servers out there existed, it'd, it'd be them. That and maybe WoW, if that's still around in a few months. Why wouldn't it be? It's apocalypse. I don't know, crazy things could happen. Maybe everyone, maybe it, maybe all the WoW Wowers raptured up first. Maybe they were the first ones to go. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know why they would be, but maybe that's what exists in this world. I don't know. This isn't my world. This is Alice's world, baby. Anything could happen down that rabbit hole. It was insane. I tried to get in touch with my brother. He's the only one who's even gotten who's even got an account, but there was no reply. I spammed my aunts and sent an email to my mother, but I don't know. I felt like I needed to find someone right now and then. And a group chat. It was spreading through our social network like a wildfire. Someone had found the closest old Fallout shelter that was actually still operable. Fallout is capitalized, so they mean like the game. I hope they mean like the game, but I'm, that's, that's a joke, I'm just only kidding. Down on third. People were going there, just grabbing all they could and running before the bombs fall. So what happened next? You know, I did find you online. That must have been useless. I'm all the way over in Old Blighty. Unless things were different in your dream. No, you were still in the UK. The bombs... I told you! I told you he was British. Oh, C must be too. Well, luckily I'm defaulting to British dialects for whatever reason. The bombs all had already started falling there. We, you... You disappeared. There was nothing more to do. It was only a dream, Al. Sure. So then what? Hmm. Fallout shelter. Because there's people there. I'm a socialite. I could be the leader. I could rule the new world. Let's go with that. The, the old Fallout shelter was down on third. It wasn't far, close enough to walk anyway. Did you think to bring any? Did you think to bring anything? Oh right, yes. I grabbed the biggest bag I had, and honest to God. Giant bag. An honest to god miss. Man purse. So, first aid kit, flashlight, flashlight, radio. Oh, take radio. Sleeping bag. Ugh. Take food. Oh, did I? It says drop sleeping bag. Aha! Oh, there we go. Now it shows up. Okay. <laughs> little bit glitch, little bit of a glitch. What is this? A bar of emergency chocolate. Emergency as in, holy shit, I have a deadline tomorrow morning. But I guess this kind of emergency also qualifies. That's funny. See? She's not a survivor. She's not a survivor. She's a socialite, so she takes chocolate to get a sugar rush, and so she can share her chocolate with her new friends. First aid kit. It pays to be prepared, but I hope I don't have to use it. You ready to start it at all? Every channel I can get just keeps repeating the same record message response. Same recorded emergency response message. My ministry sleeping bag, always useful for sleepovers, but God knows how useful it'd be in an actual outdoors environment. Some non-perishable food. Seems good to eat. I should probably not take the sleeping bag. Just take food instead. Eh, we'll just go on. Alright, there we go. Got some foods. Well, go on, what was it like? Did you run into trouble? You could say that, God, that shelter. So, we headed towards the shelter. I think we were all hoping it was all just a false alarm. And tomorrow, everything would be back to normal. Like an e extreme version of Olsen Wales World of the Worlds broadcast. Actually, the panic that radio ca show caused was greatly exaggerated, probably by Wales himself. And it worked. We still remember it today. A great ad campaign. Guess that English Lit degree is coming to some use, at least. Yeah, well, it didn't really feel like it. I remember trying to think of words to describe the way the streets felt, the way the city sounded. Turmoil, chaos, anarchy, tumult, pandemonium, the capital of hell. Now, who's got a degree in it? Stop stalling. Yeah, it's just so fucking damn, like, shit, fuck, cocks, fucking, fuck, like I said, everything felt, I felt like she was going to go out in the spurts there, so that's why. Like I said, everything felt so real. The panic in the streets, the accidents everywhere with no emergency responders showing up, and the ever-present siren. 
It was like everyone walked with their eyes to the sky, just expecting to see a flash. Did you make it to the shelter, okay? The shelter was actually in the basement of a bar. They used it as a storage, which was handy since there was a door towards the street, but there were no signs of anything like that anymore. I just knew about it from the Facebook conversation. Okay, wait, isn't that like your bar you always go to the red bar? What's happening? Okay, okay. First transition, or second, I guess, after some of the bars. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Alice, did you get in? We went to the old entrance, which was down a narrow side alley. Some of the others were waiting for us there, and a few more came while we said our hellos. It actually felt pretty sad in that big group. Oh, now there's six of us. Hooray, friends! Oh, I'm such a social light. I'm gonna be the queen of the world. The queen of the... I didn't realize that phrase I said after I said it, and it was just silly me. The suspense is killing me! On with it! Get on with it! So I knocked on the door and then immediately tried the handle. It was locked. Nothing happened for a while. And then the door opened just a bit, and she stuck her head out. She? The bitch queen. <laughs> kind of. That's an awesome title. That's an awesome title for a character. The bitch queen. <laughs> she was this redhead chick who had taken charge of everything in there. She was the- Oh, I want to be the bitch queen. She was the one who originally posted about the place, so I guess she felt she owned it somehow. Oh man, that's the only reason I went, so I could rule the world. She stood there in the doorway, looking me over, and then basically said, We are full. Like, it was, I don't know what kind of... We're full! Maybe she's Scottish! <laughs> I can't believe they'd just keep you out for no good reason. Was it actually fun? <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. There was a sign on the door that said capacity 100. There was just no way there was 100 people in there already. I said, I said as much. She didn't reply. Well, what? Who cares about capacity when it's the end of the freaking world? I know it's a fire hazard and all, but you have worse problems when there's bombs coming down. I guess you didn't just let it be at that. Tried talking my way in, which would be the obvious option for this one. I tried to push the door open. Said I wasn't the only one wanting to get in. I give up. Mm, one of these two. Tried talking my way in. Said I wasn't the only one wanting to get in. Hmm. Talking my way. Try talking my way. You can't just leave us out here and so forth. She just repeated that they were full, that there wasn't enough food for for any more. That we should try to find some other place to hide. Stone cold bitch queen. I tried telling her we wouldn't be a burden. We have brought food. I opened my bag and showed her. You're nicer than I would be. You're such a socialite, Alice. What did she, what did she hear? What did she say? She looked at the food and then at the others and said she could let me in because I had food, but anyone who didn't have food would be left outside. What the actual fuck? What a bi- mm -hmm. What did you do? I decided to take the queen up on her offer, tried to push the door open, I said I wasn't the only one to get in, I gave up. Uh, I took the queen up on her offer, of course. But you did try to get the rest in with you, right? I tried to get in as many as I could. It was live or die, I went in a lot. I'm not that much of a survivor. So, I, I am a leader. Well, good. So, how did that math work out? It wasn't math, it was narrative. Ha! But it's the narrative. Her narrative was this shelter is. Uh, I, can't, I can't do Scottish. This shelter is full, but we, but we can't take people who have their own supply. I can't do Scottish. Because we. I can't do. I can't do Scottish! <laughs> we have none to spare. I knew then already it was bullshit, but I had to humor her. Mm hmm. Anyway, the narrative math was very simple. One day of food for every person she was letting in. Ah, uh, so I only had one can with me. Damn it. So we talked about it, but of course I only had enough for myself. Crap! Or for one other. Uh, oh. uh. Going alone! Hmm. I only had enough food to be myself. Should I have given it to someone else instead? Nope. It's... It's live or die. I don't know what I would do in this situation. What would you do in this situation? I don't know. But for this Alice, what I'm deciding to do in this situation, in this particular moment, is to go forth. No. Or, well, if they'd been families or children, it was just as child as 20-somethings there. Fair enough, I guess. Still pretty cold. Anyway, I left the others behind and the door closed behind me with a bang. I, oh, no more people in my party. I only barely had time to catch my breath before the bitch queen started giving orders. She wanted me to hurry up and empty my bags. Oh, really? And what did you say to that? 
I said, screw you, bitch queen. I better have time to get my bags before she started taking command again, telling me to hurry up and empty my bags. Empty your bags? She had some kind of notion she could be in charge of the supplies. And what did you say to that? I talked to her about it politely. I asked her who, I asked her who the hell put her in charge. I followed the orders. I didn't want to rock the boat. Politely seems reasonable. It wasn't. I wasn't that fight. I just wanted to get through it. So what? Did she rob you of everything you owned, or what? I, re I was ready to start arguing with her about that politely, of course. But in but it turned out she just wanted to make inventory. She ah, I chose right. She very carefully wrote down everything we had with us, from clothes to food to blanket. You should have seen the look on her face when she found the chocolate. You brought. You brought, you brought bro, bro, you always gotta bring chocolate. To be honest, at least one thing the dream had right. Anyway. How could I refuse? <laughs> you gave her your chocolate? Huh? We were all in it together, whatever her bitchiness. She, started, she stared at me in honest wonder and clutched the chocolate to her chest. Complete 180 from before. Hmm. She was actually kind of nice about it. I'm not saying we'd be friends or anything, but hey, chocolate's chocolate. It cures everything, including diabetes. Oh, terrible. That's a bad joke. What about the others in there? Were they happy to be bossed around by her? I think most of them were too shell-shocked to think about that. Someone was in charge. That was enough for most. Did you make any new friends? Mainly old friends. I hadn't been the first there. We mingled. Did she leave you alone afterwards? Yay, I have friends again. I'm not a terrible person, I hope. The place had maybe 20 people in it, us included, but she stayed away from most of the rest of us. So yes, she did. Were you the last there? No, soon after us, there were some others. These she let in without trouble, embracing one of them. This big, burly guy with a motorcycle jacket must have been his boyfriend. Someone you knew? Actually, yes. Ray was his name. I give up. Nope. I give up. I give up. I give up. No. There's too many... There's... There... I just... Spell the same... Spell the same damn word. He lived pretty close. I mainly knew him for his love for motorcycles. I had no idea. He this is a sign. This is a sign. This is a sign. Also, today's the day that I'm recording this. Today is the day that London should have gotten my packet, my audition packet, my, my headshot, my resume. So, you know, I, I'm getting goosebumps. But the place still empty? Yeah, soon after, though, there was another knock, and this time the bitch queen tried to do the same thing she did with me. What did you do? Stepped in. This is unacceptable. I kept quiet. Stepped in. Got my social life. Damn right! When I raised my voice at her, she she just turned red. Oh, what? No, I didn't want to, like, yell at her. What was your approach? She was still acting like a bully, and I told her as much, arguing loud enough for the whole room to hear. That's why she called for Ray. Oh, crap. The big burly guy. He's gonna throw me out. So I guess in the end, you won? Hmm. Well, the alternative was that she would have won. What happened next? The end of the world happened next. The bombs. We were all underground, down a set of stairs leading to the actual bunker. It was filled with barrels and barrels of beer and other drinks, but at least there was light for a while. So it actually happened. The nuclear war? Yes. We had a radio with us that I had. My radio. Thank you very little. And we all sat clustered around it. At first, there were... Oh, the music changed. That's cool. First, there were sporadic reports that the U.S. missile defense system was working and that it was shooting down the incoming warheads, but then the signal turned off. And a few moments later, we felt the rumble. Holy shit! But were you okay? The shelter did what it was designed to do, yes. Although, at one point, there was a terrible sound just above. And the shelter was briefly filled with dust. I was pretty sure we were all dead. People were screaming, babies were crying, the lights flickered and died. It was the end. Holy shit! Your subconscious wasn't joking around. We subsisted on candles and flashlights and waited for the radio to come back. It did after a while. What did it say? Just... Oh, night. Monday. Oh, just... Ash. Ash rain. Wow. That's... That's pretty intense. Just about to... Just about to expect to follow patterns. It sounded very recorded, but I guess there had to be someone alive up there still clicking the buttons. But even that end ended after a while. Wow, okay, so... How long did you stay down there? Well... The radio said there was a cloud of radioactive ash coming our way within 24 hours and told everyone to stay inside until further notice, then it died. This is, this is a lot to remember for one dream. I don't usually remember this many specific details in my dreams. Uh, speaking of which, go check out my Tales from Dreamland series. Um, it's a, a playlist, and uh, I, I think it's pretty silly. Uh, anyway, it's usually me uh, 
actually, most of the time I am talking about dreams that I actually have that are just crazy, but I do also, in addition to that and or in addition to that, I do improv some moments here and there. Um, but don't tell anyone, shh, it's just our secret, you and me, and all that, no one else knows, and just let them think that it's all completely real. But most of the time it is. Anyway, so, I guess, <coughs> I think I was a little fly. <coughs> oh, <coughs> the ash rain is <coughs> too strong. So I guess you stayed at least 24 hours then. Of course. The problem came when we tried to leave. What? Well, the shelter was underground underneath the big trap door and the house above it had plenty cl It had apparently collapsed in the trap door. We tried to open it, pushed and pushed, but it wouldn't budge. Damn, that's like a real nightmare, buried alive. Well, we had food down there for a while. And if we started drinking beer with our meals, we could probably stretch it out for weeks. Of course, then we'd all be kind of drunk all the time too. <laughs> well, and dehydrated and, you know, alcoholic poisoning, probably. Maybe they'd be rescued? Maybe. But what if there wasn't? What did the others think? Ray and his queen, Ray, can't even freaking, wanted to sit tight and wait for help. A few of the others wanted to find an alternative way out. Maybe through one of the ventilation shafts. The third option, oh, pardon me. The third option would be to keep working on the trap door. It opened out, but if we removed the hinges and got it to collapse inward, and then dug up through the debris, the radioactive debris. Yes, but the radio had mentioned fallout falling down within 24 hours. Staying put, if even for just a few days longer, and then trying one of the other options might be optimal. Anyway, people were getting very antsy, and so it was time to make some kind of decision. So what did you do? Hmm. Clearly, from my last playthrough, the bombs are real. And the fallout is probably actually gonna happen. Maybe. Maybe not. It could be just the trick. Uh, what do I stuff stuff in my bag? I guess I should do. Okay. Uh, staying put, waiting for rescue. And then we'll do it from there. We'll roleplay it from there. Seems like waiting to die to me. Well, the radio did say there'd be fallout within 24 hours. Anyway, it wouldn't be forever. Well, no, unless you were planning on dying down there, or maybe living like moles. So we'll just wait a day. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? I'm happy now? What happened? What changed? What changed? That changed. We couldn't make do forever, of course. Eventually, we had eaten all there was to eat. I had no idea what the fallout situation was outside, but hopefully better. What then? There was no help, of course, nothing at all. The radio didn't come back on either. We were also running out of batteries and candles. Soon we'd be reduced to sitting in the dark drinking beer. Jesus, I guess the bitch queen must have agreed something needed to be done. Actually, no, she was... I think something broke in her when there was no help. She couldn't act anymore. Ray actually came over to me and asked me to help. Haha! -ha! But there was nothing I could do. She had started drinking already. Adamantly refusing to think anything but that there would be help sooner or later. What did you do? I took my trips and we killed her. I had to gather who I could to start working on the trap door inside of the ventilation shaft. Oh, no. Open up a tap of beer! That'd be funny. Uh, but no, I don't want to drink till I die. Uh, trap door. Seems like the safest idea. What did the bitch queen think? She was set on staying inside. She wouldn't lift a hand to help. I'm pretty sure that even if we managed to open a door to the outside, she'd still stay. Did you open a door? Did you open a door? We managed to break open the trap door so that it opened inwards. This only took a few hours. The guys who had been helping me with the door were both hit by the rubble. I think one got his leg half crushed and the other got a really nasty blow to his head. They gave him a con- Oh my god, oh damn. My thought exactly. But aside from that, it must still have felt pretty great, right? Not really. For a brief moment, there was a flash of daylight from outside, but it was just a flash, like someone offering you hope just to snatch it away immediately. But at least we were reminded the sun still existed. So how much work was there? A lot. Really, a lot. I wasn't alone, at least, but it looked pretty bad bleak. So, did something, something, something. Well, I also knew that the dust would be radioactive, at least to some degree. There were eight of us there to help me clear the rubble. We needed to, we needed to get it done fast if we, were going, if we were planning on living tomorrow. Hmm, so what did you do? Hmm... Decisions, decisions. Started digging. Uh, maybe we try the ventilation shaft. I don't know. Um, 
Digging's probably gonna cause a cave in, so we'll go to the ventilation. Hmm, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you get your air from the ventilation shaft? Well, yes, so it was kind of risky to go messing with it. And we all knew that, but the trap door didn't feel like a good idea, and neither was just staying put, so it was a troll. So did you find out? Well, I stood on the shoulders of some of the others and managed to dislodge the grate of one of the shafts on the roof. I shone a flashlight in it and saw it was just barely big enough for one thin-shouldered person. Sounds like someone I know. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I would better help. They pushed me up into the shaft. I was very tight, very tight, very tight, very tight, very tight, very tight. Dirty! But I could just barely wiggle my way up once. This was roughly the point I remembered. I have a serious feeling in close. Ah, why would you? Why would you remember that? After you wouldn't remember that. Well, I guess I'm not smart. My book smarts are literally zero. My career is zero. So derp derp derp. I just kind of derp my way through life, talking and having a good time, and controlling them, manipulating them. Well, I understand. What if you got stuck? No one would be able to help you, especially if it was somewhere further up. Who knows if you led to the service or if it was unblocked? Oh God, this is a bad idea. Yeah, no, definitely had some reservations. So what'd you do? Ah. Uh... I have a fear I should probably let's dig out the trapdoor. So we started digging. It took Oh, why am I sad now? It took upwards of four days to dig through, but by the end of it there was a light and then I wish I wish I could say and then we happily lived in sunlight, but I can't. What? Why not? No, I think it was the dust we all breathed in when we worked radioactive, really radioactive, and we started feeling it during that no Carried it was too weak. I couldn't keep food or water down, or even stone. I guess radiation. If like, oh man, I killed all my, I killed all my friends with that dig. Anyone who helped me, no. There and then, or later, I was just happy someone took the time to place a pillow under my head before they left. I only wish they would have at least dragged me up. As no, I see the sun more than that. It was nice. So that was it. Yeah, I blacked out soon. I didn't wake up before. Uh, uh, Crap. Well, okay. Uh, let's keep watching. I'm gonna go back, try to get back to the same spot, and see where we got get to. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go through the ventilation shaft and see what happens. Okay. See you soon. Okay, YouTubies. Here we are. Okay. So we're back to here. I did everything the same way I did before. And luckily, this game is so cool that if you want to skip to just go to the decisions to make, it's like it's just like that. Like you, I flew through this in maybe like a minute and a half. A minute maybe it took me only to get back here. So carried on with it and crawled into the shaft. <sighs> Brave. It was that or remain stuck on the ground. Either way, I was going to die in the dark. Still, I think most people would prefer to delegate that, or then hope for the best somewhere else. Hey, don't ask me. I did, I did what I did in the dream because that's who I was in the dream. I don't think it was me exactly. It was more like a future potential me, you know? Sure, I guess. Anyway, crawl space. How did you do? It was tight. It got tighter fast. That's what she said. I felt like hyperventilating, but somehow I got my breathing under control. The flashlight helped a lot. I guess you didn't have a piece of mushroom that one made you smaller, did you? <laughs> yes, it's just like you, isn't it? Right, isn't that right, isn't it? Ha! Very appropriate. No, no, I didn't. Anyhow, somehow I managed to continue pushing myself up the sides of the tunnel. It wasn't actually that bad, really, as long as I kept going slow. You can't have been been that far on the ground, though. It must have been just a few dozen feet, right? Sure, but there were filters, and it was thin, and it went straight up, and yeah, it was not fun. The worst part was I didn't even have any proper tools with me, just whatever. Oh, I have the pliers. Had I been a survival person, just whatever we had used to pry away the first cover, a claw hammer, I think. What was what was your strategy? Hmm. Just bash my way through. <laughs> uh. Probably as fast as possible. Um, I hope slow and steady doesn't. Slow and steady. Wasn't easy, and I really don't want to think about what would have happened if I hadn't kept my cool. It would have been so easy to just get stuck. I chose right! But you didn't! I didn't. Uh, I, I, I didn't. Somehow I found myself looking at sunlights streaming in through a grate at the very top. At this point, I had removed about five active coal filters, so I knew that whatever else happened, the filtration system would be broken now. In other words, you had to get them out. Yes, except that wouldn't be as easy as that. Jesus, the way things looked up there. Yes. The whole building had collapsed on top of us. It was nothing but concrete, a rebar, and broken rebar, broken glass. Luckily, the ventilation shaft along the street, and luckily nothing had fallen on it either, but the rest of the city, it was pretty much unrecognized. Oh no, I've been here before. 
Uh, break down, and then I got business lucky at the trapdoor soon enough, but it was buried under a ton of rubble, but it actually didn't look as bad from up here. A con concentrated effort from down below with some help from up here. We would see it clear within a day, I was sure, but what about the radiation? The weather was muggy and awful, and the ash seemed to float in the air. It probably wasn't good, but there wasn't much I could do about it either, so what did you end up uh, doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. What did you end up doing? I had to dig them. Now, if I dig them out, I'm going to die. I figured it would be faster to dig them out if I found help first. I should leave them to themselves. With help, I could probably dig out the whole place a lot faster, and there had been other survivors around. Good thinking, where did you go? Well, the streets were a mess. Most of the buildings around had either burned a glass from some shockwave or other. I wandered around, shouting for a while, until I decided I needed to be more systematic about it. Okay, systematically, looking for help to dig trapped people out of an underground shelter. How, how do you do that? I started by going somewhere familiar back to my apartment building. But what? Lo and behold, there it stood, or half of it anyway. Well, that's rather convenient. Oh, did I click on something? Was it badly hit? Oh, did I miss? What? Okay, you could say that. As I walked up to it, I was actually amazed at how well preserved it was. But as I got closer, I realized half of it was just gone, and everything beyond it was a ruin. It was at the very limit of the instant death zone, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, not that I was there. I wanted to see what it was like. Did you know your neighbors well? Sure, I was good friends with many of them. Anyway, I went inside and almost immediately heard voices. I followed the sound and soon found a room on the ground floor. I knocked and a man opened. I recognized him. He was one of my he was one of my neighbors. His name was Ross, and he had a small group of other survivors. And he and he and a small group of other survivors had gathered in one of the bottom floor apartments. There was a family with two kids, an older lady and the janitor. Not exactly a Marine Corps detachment, but better than nothing. After sharing stories of survival, they had all hid in their apartments and hadn't really moved from the building since. I told them about the fallout shelter. Did they agree to help? The family's kids were both getting really sick. I think they wanted to find any place that was safer than here. The others also quickly agreed. With the group in tow, we returned to the shelter entrance. You didn't bother going back up to your apartment? I did, actually. But it was nearly unrecognizable. The windows had all been blown in and everything was covered in ash. I looked at it for a while and, yeah, it felt pretty bad, but somehow there just wasn't anything there that I wanted. I felt, felt good to shut the door behind me. Could you imagine being in a situation like this? I know that it's probably bad to do that, but what would you even do in a situation like this? Like, with all of your stuff here, like, your home has been destroyed. And I know that there's people out there, I mean, thousands if not millions of people who Millions of people, yeah, who have experienced this effort, but who may be experiencing this right now. It's just, oh god, it's just terrible to think about. Something similar, not necessarily nuclear fallout, but something that's probably not too far off. Interesting. Anyway, how did the whole thing go with help? <clears throat> it was faster, definitely. We still had to collapse the trap's door from below. Still, we managed to get it done within a day. It must have been... Why am I getting sick? Because of the radiation. It must have been... Wonderful, though, to help dig out all those people. Were they grateful? Oh, yeah, so all the bitch queens still held on to her fort. She said in no, cert un no uncertain terms that she was staying right there. She was staying right there, and then anyone who didn't want to wait for rescue was free to leave. And you? Were you free to stay? Not in a million years. Some of the others, though, the family with kids were allowed to go down. It was me she went after. Queen Bee Syndrome, maybe. But I just rescued them. What? Come on. I'm just a bitch queen. The others crawled up after me. They all wanted to leave, too. A few others joined as well, jumping camp. Ross and the janitor also wanted to come with me rather than staying at the shelter. So what did you decide to do? It was time to leave town. All of us together, it was time to leave town. It wasn't, but I was doing it alone. Uh, I wanted to find out what happened to Chez. I wasn't going down without a fight. That fallout shelter was ours. to find out what happened to Chez. Mm, okay, so I read, before I started this, I read that you could try the dating route, or not the dating route, the love route, but it's really hard, it's really challenging. So, sorry Chez, but I thats I have zero dating, so all of us together, leave town. So how many of you left? We were over a dozen when we left the apartment building. <clears throat> what did it look like? The streets? Awful. Ruined buildings everywhere. Charred by fire, most of them. We had to pick our way between cars and debris and bodies. There's so many bodies, it makes me sick just to think about it. Did you figure out where to go? We started coming across survivors soon enough. People like us, some with backpacks and some with just the clothes on their backs. It was absolutely wretched to see them. Some were staying put, but most were moving. Remember, there was an evacuation center set up at the college. What, like your college? Yeah, talk about going back to where you started. Go on, how did it go? 
It was pretty slow going, and even though we tried to keep out of the black rain, there wasn't there wasn't all that much we could do, but at least we had a goal and others to help us get there. I made sure everyone had some kind of mask, though, even if it was just a shirt to breathe through. So it was real, the evacuation center. Not so fast, there was a slight obstacle still on the way. Oh, what's that? The river. There's a river? Not something I had thought about either. I didn't live anywhere near it, so whenever I crossed it, I just drove over it. But there it was, a geographical reality. <laughs> geographical reality. So, I mean, the bridges were sure they're still there, true. But when we approached them, we realized they were occupied. Uh-oh. By whom? I'm not sure. I saw them from afar and kind of ducked into cover immediately. I saw immediately they weren't good news. They had guns and were harassing the other people who'd come to the bridge. I think they were mugging them. What? Stupid people are dumb. That would probably actually happen and people are dumb. People are mugging other people. Did they let anyone pass? Yes, some. But I didn't know what the price was. Or if they had some other criteria for letting people through. So what did you do? There's actually not much else to say. Hmm? Well, I've been feeling for a long time already, but by then, it just came to an end. I couldn't move anymore. I was too weak. No! I had to rest, but I couldn't at all look at my face. It's so sad. I'm so broken. I couldn't even keep food down in the end. I couldn't even say kind to the dog. Ah, radiation poison, yes. Of the acute bad kind. I suppose it's lucky I can't really say much more of my last time on Earth. I was too delirious, too out of it to really notice <coughs> or realize anything anymore. Maybe some of the others tried to help me. I don't even know. I came in and out of it, but mostly I remember incredible pain whenever I was conscious. No! Thus concluded my dream. Well, I was so close. What do I need? Did I need more? Did I need more survival skills, maybe? Maybe that's what I needed. <sighs> that's stupid. I shouldn't have gone to that fallout shelter, I guess, just try to find my own shelter. I don't know. Well, this was super cool. Uh, okay, this is all the same thing. This game is super cool. I'm really glad. I'm really glad that this game exists. So, thanks again, YouTubers, for watching, as always. Um, this was a longer episode, but this was really fun. Man, I love this game a lot. I might do another episode. We'll see. I might do one more. You could choose an option called Dark Alice, which you can't get the true and final ending in knowing me. Being the 100 percenter that I am, I want to get the final ending. But, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but there's one called Dark Alice, which means you're the best at survival, but you're the worst at, like, people skills and things. And so it, it, it helps you survive the best and be the most efficient, but you can't get the truest possible ending. So, I don't know. We'll see whatever that means. Um, so I, I might try it again and do and do that way, but, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, give a like to my video. Give a share to my video to please help my channel grow. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. Uh, make sure you just subscribe to stay most up to date on whenever I post videos, which is every day. Yeah. But if you subscribe, it makes it easier because you just click on your subscriptions, you just click on my face or whatever my name goes to there. You don't have to like worry about keeping track of it all. So you should probably subscribe because that's the easiest way to see more of my beautiful face in the quickest, most efficient manner and get more uh, silly videos like this up and everything. Check out the annotations and playlists that I have in my channel uh, to uh, on this video and that are off to the side and things like that to see more of my silly videos that I've done. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about does it. So thank you for joining me in this great uh, journey that is bottom of the well. And uh, I don't know, maybe one of these days we'll reach the bottom of that well. But until then, sail on, silver girl. Sail on. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, YouTubies. I'll see you when I see you. Love, 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 love. Bye-bye. All the... Blech. I don't need a boyfriend to call. I just re I'm Survivor Alice. I wasn't like I'm suddenly Monty Python. This parrot is not realistic. It is a deceased parrot. Oh! Ah!